Hey, this is Arvind with Informatica. Today I'm going to walk you through the installation of the accelerators for Informatica's test data management 9.5.2. This is the agenda that I have for you today. To start off, let's see what TDM accelerators are. Once uh, we look at what accelerators are, then let's jump on to the demonstration. What are TDM accelerators and where they used for? These accelerators are all built by Informatica and uh, these are built to help you get started with your masking and subsetting projects when you deal with your packaged applications. With these accelerators, you can quickly go ahead and subset and mask the data that you have inside of your packaged applications. And the uh, packaged applications that, uh, that can, for which we provide accelerators are Oracle eBusiness Suite, PeopleSoft, and uh, Siebel. So how do we how do we go ahead and uh, install these accelerators? So to install these accelerators, there are uh, two steps. To begin with, you will have to go ahead and bring in the metadata of uh, the packaged application that you want to import or that you want to mask and subset. In this case, I've already bought the metadata from Oracle eBusiness Suite. And once we bring in the metadata, the next step is to go ahead and uh, bring in the policies. With our solution, we do provide with three policies out of the box. And they are PSI policy pack, PHI policy pack, and PII policy pack. So once you bring in the policies, you'll also be able to see the associated and related rules with those policies. Once we bring in the policy, the next step is to go ahead and uh, install it using the installer that we provide. Let me go ahead and uh, quickly install it. So we have two options. You can either uh, choose graphical mode or console mode. Choose the mode using which you would want to install. In this case, I'm choosing uh, console mode. So once the uh, installer initializes, it would uh, ask us certain questions like uh, where have we installed TDM and uh, the username and the password. So once you provide them, the installation should go ahead. So let me provide the location where I have installed my test data management version 9.5.2. So once I provide the installation, it will ask my username and password. This is the username and password using which I would log in to my test data management workbench. And then it will also list down the security domains. In this case, I just have one, but if you have multiple domains, those will be listed and you can choose the domain that you want. Say if there is any mistake uh, with the username and password, it will throw an error. So let me go ahead and key in the username and password again. And uh, let me choose the security domain. Once they are perfect, so it will ask you which family or which product family do you want to install. I'm going to choose Oracle eBusiness Suite, but you can see that uh, we have PeopleSoft Financials and Supply Chain Management. We also have uh, PeopleSoft Human Resource Management and Siebel Accelerators. So once I choose the product family, I can choose which version. Let me choose the version 3 here, which is 12.1. And once we choose the version, it will list down the various uh, folders and the projects that you have inside of your test data management workbench. So in this case, for our demonstration purpose, I'm going to choose the uh, project called as eBus and its number is 8. So let me give the number 8. And once I specify my project, it will ask me what I want to install. Should I just, should I want to install just this offset or masking or both? So I'm going to choose both. And once you choose them and press enter, the installer will install the accelerators. Once the installation is done, you can go ahead to your this data management workbench and uh, you can verify if the installation is successful. I can see that I have an entity that was created and as I go on to the entities, I can also see that uh, there are various criteria that have been uh, defined already. So as I go on to the entity criteria tab, you can see the various criteria. All you need to do is uh, choose the operator and specify the value. And uh, if you want to delete any criteria, choose it, you can delete it. And if you want to add any, you can just go ahead and add it here. We would love to get your feedback and uh, if you have something to say to us please do feel free to reach out to us at uh, support videos at informatica.com or you can reach out to us through twitter 
our Twitter URL is uh, https colon uh, slash slash twitter dot 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 com slash infosupport. Thank you and have a great day.